So HTTP path we mount. You could also mount a sub directory or sub uh, a sub not a sub path, a path uh, to a particular application. So you could, for example, uh, have this domain but slash customers go to a different app than slash or slash uh, shopping cart could also go to a different app. This encompasses or helps with microservices where you, you one application that looks as one application or like one application to the outside uh, could be backed by uh, different microservices. All right, backend name. The backend name then refers to the service and to this particular point. So this is then all. Um, this is all that the ingress no has to know. This one is very important. So the ingress um, refers to a certificate, and um, w with an, a regular engine X um, configuration you would place that somewhere in the file system right next to nginx and update the nginx configuration file to point to that certificate. So in this case, um, uh, the Kubernetes ingress controller will configure the nginx for us um, and the way how you store um, sensitive information in Kubernetes is by using secrets. Uh, secrets are just like config maps, uh, key value stores that um, can be stored as Kubernetes API objects. Um, so subsequently, we need to create a secret for this to work. Um, so currently, the uncertainty we have here is, is this the right host? And, um, and we also need to create that secret. All right, so now I have to check. All right, this is the um, open SSL command to create uh, an SSL certificate, uh, which would be K9S key, K9S CRT, and here we have to substitute the domain. As you can see, I'm not sure about the structure of the domain. But we'll try it with this one. All right, I think we need to, to replace the dot with a dash. Like that, yes. All right, and then we need to paste the domain here.
and also here. And, and these, they don't look right. Can you see that, <laughs> that they are different ones, different quotes? Ah, damn your UTF-8. All right, so private key, problems making certificate request. String too long, which one's too long? Uh, maybe this one. keyboard today problems making certificate yeah, coding routine string too long crypto internal string too long what the hell My keyboard is uh, going crazy today. Well, it actually created the key, so we'll just go ahead and see whether it works. Problem making the certificate request. Huh. I think we are missing the certificate request here. That's, uh, sometimes I hate these, these tools. What the hell? I just want to print out the version. And, this? 
uh, it says minus v uh, minus v verbus no no version ah uh, I have to what's the sub command I'm using rec Ah, what the hell. I may have to update my OpenSSL installation. Uh, this uh, computer has been installed like many years ago and I've been updating it while, uh, for a while. So I'll try that for the next time and update the tutorial accordingly. So now we go with a with the versions um, um, a team a team member uh, created for me based on this domain. We'll see whether it works. All right. Um, let's go ahead with ingress. So now we have the certificate. Um, the next thing we have to do is import the certificate into Kubernetes. So uh, there will be cube cutto create secret TLS. Uh, which means that uh, the TLS secret is a specific type of secrets. There are other secrets, for example, that, that those you can use for username and passwords and so on. Uh, they are sometimes uh, referred to uh, generic secrets, I think, in Kubernetes. And we'll cover that in a, in a later section. So uh, create Kubernetes TLS, and then we'll have the cert certificate name Third file, third name. Uh, okay. That would be this name of the secret. Um, That would be the name of the secret as a key. Good. Um, so now we have a secret uh, called K9S N9SCOM TLS. K9S, N9.com, TLS. This is the secret we are referring to. We have a key, we have a certificate. Now we can hope that uh, the DNS name here is correct, that the host name is correct, because otherwise we have to generate a new certificate, which I can't do here at my computer for whatever reason. All right, so we have the key in the secret and the certificate in the secret, which is all the uh, Nginx will need. We can cube cuddle, describe secret, of course, like always, as always. You can see 
that the secret basically contains uh, a key, which is tls.crt, and then a byte array that basically imitates the file. And um, I'm pretty sure that the secret will be mounted as a file into as a volume uh, into uh, the the places where it's needed. So we can see we will see that later in the secret exercises we'll have um, that you can create a secret or a config map, you know, pretty similar, and you can mount them as environment variables or you can mount them as files. So in this case, for example, where you import a file as a secret, um, you'd create you'd mount it definitely as a file um, or most likely as a file. It's just the same when you create config maps for um, configuration files, then you're also likely to mount them as files, where if you just want to store a password um, and you know retrieve it as an environment variable, you can mount the uh, config map as an um, environment vari variable too. We'll see that later. Okay, now the secret is ready. We can be so keen to execute uh, this one. Uh, Qcuddle apply minus f and ingress. All right, so here's our host. And there's our web, uh, there's our web application. So, um, the Certificate is a self-signed certificate. So you could use Let's Encrypt, for example. Uh, let's, en let's Encrypt uh, to create a certificate for free that uh, for most browsers uh, won't generate that browser warning. So that's uh, a way to do that. Um, or you have to buy a certificate because they usually cost money. Um, so let's go through these steps again. The first step you have to do is you have to figure out which domain. Well, the domain here is, but that is specific to our Kubernetes. You have the service name, apps, which tells the load balancer to point us to the ingress and tell the ingress, well, this is in application. In contrast, for example, uh, for the API domain, where this is API and there's nothing in front of that, um, so that you can issue commands against the cluster itself. For example, here my all my cube cuddle uh, commands, they have to be issued against an endpoint. And you can see in cube cuddle config view, the endpoint is under the same subdomain. Uh, it's not the same subdomain, it's a different one, but it's the same cluster. You can see that here is the same ID, but it has a, a different subdomain. So uh, the incoming um, load balancer uses this subdomain to decide, all right, I'm going to the cluster with this ID. Okay, so The subdomain is um, is therefore uh, derived from the name of the service. Um, so once you have your subdomain, and um, you can generate your SSL certificate. So you could follow a Let's Encrypt tutorial, which uh, it uses the same workflow here. Um, oh, which was the one that we used this? Ah, doesn't matter. So this would be the command to use. It uses OpenSSL, which is something that you'll have to set up on your local computer. Uh, for example, on macOS, you can um, use Homebrew. 
Uh, so you'd be prove search open SSL. Uh, this is also how I will upgrade uh, my op my SSL uh, um, my open SSL command after the lecture because I think it's outdated. All right. So you then um, use this command. These are the files that you will uh, generate, the key file and the certificate file or the certificate file. Um, you'll pass in your domain uh, here and there, and you got a self-signed, you got yourself a self-signed certification, um, uh, certificate, I'm sorry. So the um, once you have the certificate, different window. Once you have a, a certificate, you will create a secret, which is kubectl create secret, a particular secret, CLS. You will give it uh, a name. That name must match must match with the secret name in your ingress configuration. So you take that and place it here. And then you have to take the key file and the third file, which would be this key. and that certificate. So it basically uploads these two files into a secret, which is basically like a key value pair. And the ingress controller will fetch the secret from there and use it to configure Nginx. In the ingress configuration, you also have to tell which service to use. So for example, you mount slash path to a backend. And the backend in this case is a service with the name simple go web s. And the port is 8080. So that's how you create a, and deploy an application to Kubernetes that's reachable to the outside.